In this lesson, I'll show you how to create such reels. We'll organize scene with layers and use batch render and scene stats. By the end, you will have a clear workflow to create it quickly and efficiently. Let's get started. First, find the rhythm. Music is the foundation of a reel. When you're looking for a track, it's important to pay attention to its tempo and dynamics. Choose one that matches the mood and style of the reel. This will help you to synchronize the appearance of the object with the rhythm of the music. You can either select a pre-made template, the simplest option where you only need to insert your renders, or choose a separate track and calculate how many frames you will need for it. For example, for my reel, I found this template. If you look at its description, you'll see that it's made for around 9 frames. You can make 9 renders or less than 9 plus additional frames, for example with text. If your scene is large, with a lot of objects, it makes sense to choose a template with more frames. Second, frame proportions. You need to set frame proportions of the renders. Instagram prefer vertical videos with a 9 to 16 aspect ratio for reels. You can set this up in Renders tab. Third, layers. I recommend assign each frame to a separate layer. This way it will be easier to adjust the order of the objects or lights appearance in each frame and make change if the original concept wasn't perfect. Uh, let's customize it. Open layers. I'll name all layers with the name of frames. Let's create first one. Next, I'll select tiles and walls and we'll add to current layer. Let's create new layer. Number two. I'll select first niche and shelves in it. Add to active layer. Let's create third one and I'll select second niche and shelves. Let's add those objects to active layer. Layers number 4 and 5 will be with lights. For layer number 4 I will add lights from first niche For layer number 5 I will add lights from second niche Bottles on the shelf to the 6th layer Next layer table, layer number 8 decor on a table but without mirror. You can select objects, create new layer and they straight away appear in new layer. Last layer, mirror. You can hide all layers till first one and check appearance of the object in interactive render. Force, batch render and scene states. Of course, you can render each frame one by one. However, I'll show you how to optimize this process using batch rendering, so you can render everything at once. Batch render is a powerful tool for saving time, especially when you have many frames. With the help of scene states, you can set different parameters for each frame, such as lighting, object position, camera positions, etc. And it will be useful not only for our current case, but also for regular projects. In our case, we will set the parameters for objects appearing in each frame and you will be able to render everything automatically. Let me show you how you can do that. First, we'll set scene stats. Tools, manage scene stats. Here we'll set all scene stats for each frame. Open layers and turn off everything till first one. Press save in states. Select all parts and set number 01. Same as layer. Press save and turn on second layer. Save in stats and set number 02. Do the same for the rest of the layers and stats. Stats are ready. Time to customize batch render. Rendering batch render. Press add to add your first render. Select it. Pick camera. Click on output path. Select folder where you want to save your renders. Set the name of your first render. Select PNG type of file and save it. Next, select scene states for the first frame. Make wider all the graphs in batch render so you will see all parameters clear. Select first view, duplicate it, select it, go to output path, press plus, it will add next number to the name. Change scene states to number 2. You'll need to do the same for rest of the frames. Make sure that you select correct scene states. It's very important, otherwise you will render something else.
In the end, check all names and stats. Next, go to Renders tab and in the Scene tab, set noise limit. Otherwise, one frame will render forever. Also select the noising. We are ready to render our frames. Select first view and press render. After render is done, you will find all your frames in the folder. And you can create your reel. Let me know in the comments how would you do that.